Hey everybody, welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Jay. Welcome, welcome back. back. Shout out to Casey for being our new patron. Patreon.com slash Family Mart Pod. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey. Um, only one? Only one. That's, that's what I'm saying. All like, we need know. is one. Hey, also. Hey, that's one more than last week. Bonus episodes now on Spotify. Subscribe. Thanks, you guys. want the bonus episodes there. Yeah. So, hey, everybody. Hey, you're looking was, a little tanner. Yeah. Yeah. Tanner. Just came back from Hawaii. How's the measles? Yeah. The measles were great. <laughs> no, I feel like we're disrespecting people that actually have measles. Like, we're kind of downplaying. Like it might be kind of serious. It might be serious. I don't know what measles even does or looks like, but if you did or are going through the measles, I'm sorry that we, that we are uh, disrespecting it. Yeah, we're appropriating your culture. You know what? I'm tired of that stuff. Wait, should bro. we not have this album out like this? I, I'm just realizing how crazy this might be. Uh, I mean, it's out now, but okay. if you think about it. <laughs> well, it is out now. Out now. If, been you, out. if you think about it, the title says No Way Out. Oof. Okay. It's not a good look. And he, it's a Diddy album. Man's left the country already. Yeah. We'll talk about we'll it. Talk okay, about we'll talk about it. So just get into we it. have it here. We're not supporting it. We're raising it's, awareness. It's uh. We have it for... We're going to talk about it. We're promoting it low-key. No, no, we're not. No, don't listen to this. Don't listen to Puff. So many good songs, though. <laughs> Should we just get into that no, right no, now? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, so... I mean, we can. Yeah, if you want, we can. Well, do you, you want to or no? You want to save it? Uh, well, we already brought into, it. Okay, whatever. Into, you bring bring it, up what happened. Bring up what happened yeah, for so, the people so, that don't so know. So if, if, you're, if you're just getting into the no, Diddy uh, got raided by the feds because all this stuff's coming out about uh, him... Being involved in human trafficking, even being a ringleader about it, uh, drug trafficking, and um, they raided his three homes in New York, L.A., and Miami. At the same time, At bro. the same time. They don't raid your home just to raid them, so they have something they could get him for. He fled the country. Uh, in the process, one of his mules uh, got arrested for being a mule. Uh, and that's, if you don't know what that means, it's basically you are... Uh, trafficking drugs from country to country for him. Backyard, yard. And uh, he's a former basketball player. He played for Syracuse in 2018. I didn't know that. That was What's a that? random fact. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the mule. The mule is a former, oh, okay, former okay, college okay. basketball player. Yeah. Okay. Good defense. So, yeah. And now a lot of people are finding, I don't know how accurate this is, but Jay Z is involved. Oh, man. How is Jay Z involved in everything? I mean, when you well, got that, money. I really hope that's not true. Me I too. But at the same time, I'm ready for the smoke because a lot of my friends think he's the goat. You're ready for the smoke in what way? To give it out. In you're, what way? I still don't understand. You're ready for a, the oh, yeah, anti-Hove campaign? I'm just saying. You're not pro I'm a Nas fan. Oh, I see what oh, you're God. saying. So you're not protecting. So you're saying if it gets leaked or if it, if it comes to light that Jay-Z is part of it, you're ready to hop on the anti Jay Z. I'm just saying it might be easier for me to do it than most of my. Well, homies. I thought you were sitting uh, in front of the bandwagon. Rather well, I than thought like I thought you later. were. Uh, I thought you liked Blueprint. Oh, I love I love Jay Z. Oh, <laughs> I'm a big Jay Z fan. Bro. Right, I'm but just you're, saying, like I'm a Nas, I think Nas is better than Ho. But you don't like him enough to be devastated by by him being a part of that. I think I'd be I'd be very disappointed because he has so much music that I listen to that you're no longer going that to I probably to. would. I would just be like, first, or, that's that's okay. Because now we talk about people we fuck with, yeah, and not listening to their music, right? Because we talk about R. Kelly, that one stung a little bit, yeah. But we could brush it off because I could stop listening to a He's couple guilty, songs. Guilty though, that's true. Yeah, he is guilty. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, if all these people that we actually like become guilty, it's going to be even harder to stop listening to their music because we like. More than two songs. That's a lot of Hove songs I got to listen to just at the crib. Bro. Oh, man. It's so many albums, bro. I think about Shake when, you know, if. Yeah, if that's who I'm like, thinking about right now. Yeah. <laughs> all Is he going to have a hard time shaking that if like, you know. Oh, man. I don't know. We'll find out. I let Hove down. We'll f- <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice let's, so, so, so let's get into Diddy. He's not yeah. guilty yet. He's not guilty. It looks yet. like he's treading towards that or yeah. treading for a different country. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like he's treading in that direction to be to be guilty. All this all the evidence is proving that he is yeah. guilty. Yeah. And I'm pulling up his describe. That's why I have my phone. I'm pulling yeah. up the discography. the discography. If he is guilty, 
Are we done listening to Diddy? Well, not we. Are you guys done listening to Diddy? All right. Before we start bringing up Songs. tracks, first gut reaction is I'm ready to give it up. Ayo, hey, I'm ready to stop listening <laughs> to this gentleman's music. Really? Not gentle. This guy's music. <laughs> I maybe I maybe maybe you're it. forgetting. That's what I'm saying. So that that's my gut reaction. I'm, Until I start listening. Yeah, and then we'll let's list them out. Well, what do you got? so it goes deeper than just like okay. <laughs> It goes deeper than just his songs. He actually produced a lot of records too. Yeah. So are you like disassociating he's on a lot of American gangster joints? Yeah. Are you disassociating from that too? Like you got to start checking producer credits. Because if that's the case, then we really have to be checking everybody. Everybody. Yeah. But isn't that what the feds do? I'm throwing up. I'm all not the, the Ciroc I've drank. I'm not the feds though. I'm okay, just a so consumer. I okay. When it comes to like, if he's proven guilty. And he's a, a pedophile, human trafficking, child molester, uh, celebrity molester, uh, all these bad things. We shouldn't be supporting him. Is that what you're But saying? here's the crazy oh thing. My. Hold on, wait. Here's the crazy thing. <laughs> Rappers talk about this shit all That's the time. True. That's true. true. They talk about murdering people. They talk about misogyny. They talk about Lots of bad having things. hella bitches. Whoa, yes. They talk about all this shit. Mm-hmm. And, and we let it slide. We let it slide. All day. Until the feds get you. And then it's like, oh, shit. Now it's wrong. Now it's a Frico case. <laughs> Bro, nice. I'm not listening to music about, like, human trafficking and molesting. The, okay, no, <laughs> that, but you are listening to music about but, people oh, murdering. Misogyny, Look at the title. Murdering. No yeah. Way Out. Think about it. Murdering. You. I know there's a lot of that sprinkled in the music you listen to. There is, but I'm thinking... You know, like that stuff is like aggressive energy. I'm not thinking of actually killing anybody, but when you're actually doing it, it's like, bro, what are you now? You're tripping. But you don't think the rappers that are rapping about it that you listen to are actually doing that? No, man. Rappers are nerds. So then it puts this whole thing on like rap music. Like a lot of it is just facade, all of it's fake. It's yeah. people and I'm just, sure there's some people actually doing it. But then, but yeah, but then is that even something you should support? Right. Yeah. Do we support murderers? How far are we going to take this energy is, I guess, the point that we're trying to make. Because if Diddy is out here actually doing these things and talking about it in this music, does that mean we should stop I guess listening if, to it? If it's a graph, the greater your music is, the less likely I'm going to, the more pass I'm going to give it, honestly. All right, well, for, mur for murder music. <laughs> because, because for murder music listen, specifically. Okay, well, I also don't, I mean, I haven't, I guess I haven't really th like listened to diddy's lyrics like that to think yeah. to put two and two together like is this about traffic is this if about he even wrote it right yeah so but also all those things that you listed everything that he's getting got for i mean it doesn't sound right to be supporting somebody who has partaken in all those things yeah but it's really difficult when you really have a connection to a lot of these songs because i'm looking through you know some of his songs and i'm like i love these songs which ones Missing You is a top one. I love that song. Faith Heaven, Faith Evans, Mo Money, Mo Problems, classic. Nobody's saying anything. Well, Nasty Girl. Hey, 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 with, with Whoa, Con. hey, yo. With if Nelly you said Nasty Jack Woman, it might be different, but N Nasty <sighs> Girl. I Don't Want to Know. <laughs> That's him? He's on the song. I We're Need a Girl. What? Part one and part two. Hey, I Need a Girl was fire. I need a girl to ride. My Yo. Okay, okay, okay. Shake your tail feather, Murphy Lee. I don't need that. Okay, I don't need that. You don't shit. need that. It's a good video. Last night we were bringing that up earlier. Last I didn't even know Diddy was. I like that song. That's a good song. Na, 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 Bad boy song. for life. I'm good on that. Okay. Bump, bump, bump. B2K. Nah. I'm good on that. Oh, I love that song. Notorious B.I.G. We, I think we'd have to cut out like all of Big's music, right? Because he was probably nah, but nah, but I'm just saying. But Big was the rapper. Right, but he was involved in that. But he he they're they're saying that he might be involved in murdering Big. Yeah. So that's okay. That because he was the one. He's who, a victim, bro. But Ooh, he was involved in it. Big though. was a victim. All these people are a victim. Not all of them. Apparently, Usher might be can't a hold me down with Mace. Mace is not a victim. No, okay, but I'm saying I'm he got I'm out just early. I'm listing the songs. Are we? Are, are we having a hard time letting go of any of these songs yet? I, or no? Pretty, no, I, I can let them I all go. Let a lot I'm, I'm kind of actually, go. I haven't even listened to all these songs in a very long time. Yeah, before Mercy last night earlier. No. 
I'm good. I'm good on peaches and cream. Trade it like, all? That sounds like something you do to like lure a child. Yo, I got some peaches and cream. Yo. Trade it all? You you guys you guys remember that? that Jacket Edge. You don't know that song? Trade it all. With Fab? So these are songs he produced. Okay. Well, these are I don't know if he produced them, but he's part of them. He's like featured. Yeah, he's or, a hype man in the in some of them. But he also like, you know, he got that song with Nas too. You can hate me now. Yeah. So nah. We're not we're not having a hard time uh getting Getting rid of these? I don't gotta listen to Hate Me Now no more. I think I'm You're good. This is a uh, easy easy test. <sighs> Honestly, ignition's harder to let go than all these joints. Really? Yeah. Yeah, like if we wanted to if <laughs> you we wanted don't to like, compare how like fire measuring the song is. I, yeah. <laughs> for measuring you, like box. I guess level. I guess it's because I really enjoy I enjoy a lot of I like I need a girl part one and part two. I love I need both a girl those, songs. Was, those were dope records. Those were dope records. But But not enough for you to be devastated. That you can't listen to him anymore. Eh. I'll be missing you. That's a great. Song. I was nev- never really a fan of Puff like that though, because I know he wasn't really me either. He I- he's he's more of a, a businessman than he was like an actual rapper. Yeah, I'm not like I didn't have posters of him in my room, but yeah. I did I did enjoy the work that he made. Yeah, I think I like making the band more than anything he's ever made musically. Oh, well, I guess that's where we differ a lot. Then <laughs> I'm just saying, like I feel like vote or die <laughs> puff probably had ghost writers he, i think he was just involved he just needed his name on the credits more than anything so like a lot of these songs are really curated by the peoples that he put together for him he's like a Khaled, dj Khaled. yeah so so how much are we like devastated no disassociating from like are we not listening to music he's featured in produced part of how like how far are you taking it i'm going in featured in saying uh, I'm going as far as that. I think if it's Puff featuring, I'm good on it. But if it's hmm, featuring Puff plus all these other people, you can let it go. I can let it go, if, especially if this record's dope. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Would do we know where we fled off to? Uh, Bar Barbados or something like that. Bar it 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 was a, a oh, island where he can't get extradited. Yeah. What is that? I need a girl. Oh. Man, if I'm doing song, a lot dude. of treacherous things like that, that I'm definitely having an exit plan. Yeah, he did. Like how, uh, what's the name's in Bali? Who's in Bali? Um, One of the Simmons. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Oh, he has a song here called Russell Simmons. Satisfy You is featuring R. Kelly. Any? Damn, featuring R. Kelly. Oh, that's a double cancel. No, not listening. Welcome to Atlanta. All I hear that's is not, yo, 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 yo. Jermaine Dupri. That's well, he's Jermaine. featured on. Well, he's featured on it. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I'm just a little bit more. As with the R. Kelly thing, I actually Mers came out. Congratulations, Mers came out <laughs> as more devastated about the R. Kelly thing because he started listing all the things that he was connected to and all the things that he had to let go of. So I was gonna say, I just think R. Kelly's a better musician than Puff is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Puff yeah. was just like featured, and maybe maybe Puff was a better curator than R. Kelly. Mm, debatable. R. Kelly was a beast, man. Look, look at this. Whoa! No, yeah. Look at what dude, we just here did. We look go, what we just dude. did, man. Look at here what we, we go. Just, look at what we just did, man. What? We're. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm innocent. Sorry. What do we just do? I'm just saying, like, if we're comparing Puff and R. Kelly musically, R. Kelly, in my opinion's catalog is better than Puff's catalog. Oh. Well, it's subjective, so I can't really, you know, I can't. Uh, like, if we're talking about the stuff that Puff made, and then, and I'm saying that because Kelly is a songwriter, musician, producer, I, and Puff is just really just a, he's like a businessman. He just kind of puts his name I on I do things. think Puff had more influence on the world than R. Kelly. As far as, like, entertainment goes, not as, like, the behind-the-scenes stuff. But I do think... Yeah, and he's also part of a lot of, like, crime and a lot of, like, crazy shit. Like, he sure. made Shine take a hit for some of his shit that he did. Could have yeah, killed but I, if both we're just Pac talking, and Big. I don't mm-hmm. know. Okay, well, now we're getting into other things, but... Well, that's what they did the raid for, too. They're they're looking for information if he was connected with the Tupac killing. Yeah. Also, I'm not even the biggest Puff fan either. <laughs> I don't think many of us are. But, like, but I do. But, but talking about those songs, I love those yeah. songs, and I have special memories attached to all of the music that I just listed. Because yeah. so, I also think the lo- your memories are from innocent times in your life. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So when he was able to 
if he got you with his music when you were 13. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm still listening to it in the think car. About, think about who I'm else still listening to I Need a Girl. I'm still going to listen to I Need a Girl. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like, shut the club down. I'm not even at the club. Shut the coffee shop down. <laughs> <laughs> also none of these songs that you listed besides maybe i need a girl are playing like at any house party yeah and even i need a girl that's pr- probably playing at the end when everyone's mm-hmm. starting getting like that's let's start cleaning up i'm not even out house parties like that bro or i guess if we're all like chilling chilling parties this is crazy man it, it okay so this is let, let's get off the music a little bit and just more into like the allegations like it's crazy to me how a lot of celebrities, a lot of people that are millionaires, billionaires are are like coming to the surface with all this like cr- the crime world stuff that they're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that just goes another reason, another thing that proves that money doesn't solve your issues. Because if, if we think that money solves everything, wouldn't they be satisfied enough with just the money? They wouldn't have to go and seek all these extra things yeah. outside of it, Bro, right? He came yeah. up with mo money, mo problems. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, but that's think about it from experience. Dude's got hella money, but he's still like trafficking drugs. That's what I'm saying. It's not enough. It's like the money doesn't solve it. Yeah, it don't like the money and the fame. Like that doesn't solve your internal struggle. Is that a struggle? or Is it just an internal? Yeah, it, like an internal me. Like yo, I'm I'm really a crime life. That's what I live. I think maybe it just exposes who you really are. Yeah. It's crazy, man. But he I don't exited, know, man. He's really a bad boy. There, <laughs> there's no way out for Puff. Yeah, I don't think, man. So, so are we? Are we? Can we? Yeah, get we can rid- get rid of that. Okay. Yeah. So and 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 shouts to the homie that got it first. But sorry, but we don't need this anymore. So, <laughs> Loki, it's still in the shot. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Is it? Nah. No. Oh. Speaking it's of sucks. shots. Oh, okay. Y'all want to get some magic mind here real quick? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yo yo shouts to magic mind do more stress less make sure you guys pick up your magic mind subscription you can get 20 percent off using our code fmp20 i can't wait to stress less and shout out to everyone sending photos that they picked it up at the sprouts yes thank also you cool to see if you you're can't trying to use the code one. at the sprout so if you're trying to save some money get it online use the code or you can click the link in the description to uh, get some money off yeah your magic mind or i guess if you just want to try it out see how locked in you can get pick it up at the sprouts or the whole foods i'm locked in get yeah. a couple get a couple of them and um we actually had quite a bit of patreon members get it at sprouts and you know just to try it yeah shout out to the homie brian uh fellow patron fellow homie yeah um he went out and tried it and he texted me after he well because he was asking me what my routine was with this. He's like, yo, do you take it with coffee? Do you take it in the morning? Do you take it at night? Right. I was like, yeah, I take it with the coffee in the morning. Let me know how it goes. He texted me the next day and he was like, bro, this is the truth. I should have been on this. Yeah. I, I, I fuck with it heavy, man. Like, uh, you know, one, I'm a big matcha head. So, you know, you get the energy from that. Uh, and, you know, the ashwagandha, like it's it has like the things that are in nootropics, but you don't get the, the typical tummy ache thing yeah or like the i gotta take a shit feeling yep you know what i'm saying which is what i'm trying to get to is the fact that i take it before i run yeah you know like an hour before i run so that way i can get some energy so it's also good we've got to do a physical exercise yeah i've been taking it before my runs and before not twice in a day but i'll either take it before a run or i'll take it before uh a lift oh heck yeah i think it's nice uh to see how easy it is to get into flow state Right after doing it. Oh, like, 100%. Things just start flowing through you. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, you know, like we've been working on that book. I take one before I start typing, get on my type levels. Mm-hmm. And like, it's like it just kind of like flowing. It's just flowing, bro. Flowing like a river. Yeah. Did you take some in Hawaii? I did take some in Hawaii before, before, uh, before some of the big runs and mm-hmm. I was locked in. Yeah. As, as locked in as you can be because... I was already locked in by the beach. Yeah, that like you know, it's hard scenery, to yeah, yeah, it's hard to be not locked in when you're running at the beach. Yeah. So, shout out to Magic Mind. Shout out to Magic Mind. MagicMind.com slash FMP20 or put the code in at checkout FMP20. Speaking of Hawaii, let's talk about it, I'm man. I'm a little tan. Do you guys think I'm a little tan or what? Yeah, I bro. think so. I think Faith also got tanned. Yeah. yeah she also did. burned up a little bit. Oh. Yeah. You know how that white skin gets. <laughs> yeah. 
white skin supremacy, you know, burns up in the sun a little Dude, bit. Dude, that's crazy. I'd say it's reparations, oh, but. <laughs> Yo, no, for real. Just gets super burnt. That too, you know, a little Yo. bit of Castro in there. Yeah. Castro Yo. oil. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Rising up against Spain. We back. <laughs> yeah. Just peeling out there. Yeah, just, just out there peeling. Just peeling, man. That's like yeah. the first sign that you know, like, yo, man, you're you're not made for the sun. Man. <laughs> yeah. I was made for the sun because I'm yeah. in the. Yo, well, I was, I was, you know, by the end of it, I really enjoyed putting on sunscreen so yeah. much to the point where I ran out of sunscreen. Nice. So, did you have the spray kind or the- no? No, no. The spray kind is not the same as the the lotion kind. I feel like the lotion kind is so much more effective. Yeah. I don't know. That's not a scientific fact. Yeah. But it's just a feeling fact. Spray kind makes me feel like I'm just trying not to stick to the pan. Spray kind sounds like it sounds like something you made in Hawaii. <laughs> you got That's the spray the sp- kind, bro. The spray kind. But Were yeah. you putting on sunscreen even at days night? That you, yeah, that you weren't going to the beach. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because we're in, I'm in the sun all day. Damn. So you know, I'm really putting it on. I'm putting that stuff on. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you look like you you kind of had like some Conor McGregor vibes out there. This is the first time I've seen you just shirtless, like running in oh, public. Oh, yeah, for McGregor sure. McGregor vibes. Yeah, yeah, I was out there shirtless, you know, yeah. doing the running, running did, for president. Did, <laughs> did people nice. run into you like while you were running? running? Yeah, yeah, I ran into a couple people while running. It was because uh, I don't wear, I wasn't wearing headphones out there. and uh, You don't ever wear headphones. That's true. Yeah. Back here, back home, here I do because yeah. it's boring and like, I, you know, I'm running through the same neighborhood. But yeah, there though. True. Not boring. Not boring. There's so many things to. I'm. I'm thinking about. You know. I'm running into like. You know. The all these people on the street. I want to hear yeah. what's going on. I want to hear people telling me to get out the way. Yeah. And a couple of times I'd hear like, "Hey, Chris." While you're running. While I'm running, I wow. turn around. But sometimes people wouldn't give me a reaction. So I'm like, "Am I tripping?" They just duck their head. <laughs> no, no. They just look. They're, we're just like staring at each other. I'm like, "Did I hear that?" Or am I? What, at least what's like going yeah. on? Yeah. And then to be like, "Yo, you're the." You're the and the then following would yeah. be what like you're the Instagram guy or the guy on TikTok or you're like you're the grandma guy. Hey Chris, I saw you with Puff last night. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! There's so many p- supporters out in Hawaii. It's insane. Yeah, but yeah, Faith was sending us a bunch of pictures of yeah. you getting like uh, asked for an autograph or a picture. Yeah, it was. Did you re- sign anything out there? No signing, but definitely a lot of pictures. Yeah, I think so, the pictures the wave now. So shout out to everybody. Uh, in Hawaii that said what's up I also saw a lot of people that that like saw me yeah gave me the like the head nod but didn't come yeah. up because maybe they thought I was busy or whatever or like, Shaka. yeah yeah so that was really cool uh, lots of supporters out in Hawaii so if you said what's up or if you just took a picture from far, from afar which I did see that's cool too yeah which is I mean that's a whole thing in itself, but dude, you're famous, man. I'm not famous. I'm just, I'm just well known. Yeah, I no. got a new bit that I'm gonna do on TikTok for you. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You're just gonna see it. Okay. If, if you look at your mentions, I know you're very popular now, so you don't really see things that happen. <laughs> oh my god. But if it comes across your page, just know it's a new bit that I'm doing. Okay. So just accept it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, shout out to everybody that said what's up. Hawaii was great. I got the story of clogging the toilet. Yeah, I, I know you guys saw this, the video. Man. So. First night in Hawaii, you know, I'm, I've been holding in. I've been holding it in all day. I've been traveling yeah. all day, you know, walking around, eating, eating a lot. Yeah. Everything is bubbling up. I And I'm sharing a room with Faith's, Faith, her brother, and her brother-in-law. So yeah. we're like all in the same room. This is my first time traveling with them. So I'm trying to make a good impression. Yeah. I feel it. I'm like, man, I re- the first thing I think of when I feel the the tummy tummy rumbling is like, I really hope I don't clog the toilet because I clog the toilet often here yeah. in Vegas, so I go in do my business. I was sitting on business for sure because like <laughs> God, damn. it was a lot bro. numb legs, numb legs. Yeah, there was just it, it was a lot coming out. Damn, yeah. it was a lot. It looked like Geo dudes coming out of me, <laughs> you know? Yeah, Multiple. buff, buff. Multiple. So I flush. Instantly knew it wasn't going down because it wasn't even moving. Just the water was moving. Like the, oh, damn. No. So the, it's, just, it's just mixing. The, just shit. the water is just moving. The dude who's not even mixing, it's just yeah. like <laughs> just staring at me. I'm like, bruh. So I hop out the bathroom. I'm like, I tell everyone, everybody, I have bad news. <laughs> and Faith was like, You clogged the toilet, huh? <laughs> everybody, I have bad news. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to make light of it because I didn't know how they were gonna react. Like, yeah. I don't know if they're weirded out by like you know number two or not jokes so 
I'm like, I'll fix it though. I call the front desk. I'm like, hey, you guys have a plunger? They're like, yeah, we have one at the front desk. Come get it. I'm like, bro, you guys came and deliver the 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 plunger to me? Yeah, this is crazy. Bro. Yeah. So I went downstairs, pick up the plunger, go back up, plunge it out. Thankfully, I have enough experience in the plumbing game yeah. that I know how to unclog a toilet. Yeah. So I didn't really have any like doubts of that I could get it. So I go back down. I'm like, this is so embarrassing because I'm like walking around with a used plunger. Yeah. Like everyone's gonna know like what I just did. On there, yeah. Right. Yeah. Clear bag. Yeah, like they know what they know what just they happened. Know what's up. Yeah. And I have to give it back to the oh, front that's desk. So awkward. Nasty. Yeah. It's so awkward. So I'm like, here's the plunger back. And he's like, wait a second. Are you Chris? And I was like, bruh. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was the first thing I said. Yeah, <laughs> bruh. I was like, bruh, bruh, and I was like, yeah, man. Uh, he's like, oh my gosh, I've been following you. This, this, and that. I love your videos. Yeah. I mean, you used to be a caretaker for my mom. All this and that. Can we take a picture? Yeah. So we take a freaking picture, and I'm holding You're the plunger. You're holding still. the plunger, yeah. Still? And we're like taking a picture, and I'm like, this is crazy. I'm in a, I'm in a wife pleaser. You should have asked, like, can I set this down? I was nah, just, that's not him. He's gonna just he's you know he gets shook. He just like yeah, I was just shook because like already how are you I'm more in, shook to see them. <laughs> I'm embarrassed that I got the plunger on me. I look like Super Mario out here <laughs> for real. And <laughs> yeah. from your comments, I guess that's not even the right plunger. Oh, it's not. I guess that was like a sink plunger. It worked. Maybe they thought they're about to give someone that to to fix their sink next. Ew. It worked though. So yeah, yeah I didn't know there worked. was a difference. I bet I you didn't that know dude, either. they probably like kept that to the side and framed it. Oh my gosh! Oh, that is not worth. That's it. disgusting. <laughs> so we took a picture, chopped it up, and I went back upstairs. And I just, you know, it's a funny, funny little story that. Yeah. Uh, you know, but yeah, so many, so many kind people out in Hawaii. Even the people that you know that we didn't know, and they were just like, they were just very hospitable. Yeah. Out there. Yeah. They're very sweet. Yeah. yeah. It's like the it's it's their thing is 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 um hospitality it's yeah kind of, it's kind of like vegas and we did uh we did a snorkel we we did a snorkeling excursion which mm -hmm. I, i've never been snorkeling before never been to a sandbar that it's was crazy great. right yeah. yeah oh how far out was a sandbar bro it's pretty far like we were miles out whoa yeah. it's crazy yeah on your own boat on our own boat well it's not there your was a, personal no boat, no but, but like, there was like you know there was a crew yeah. there was a crew oh, okay, okay. there was like 20 people on the boat and they took us out uh, they showed us like they were pointing out sea turtles. Nice. Yeah. Uh, they took us to the sandbar. We they set up a, a a volleyball net and we were all playing volleyball. And it's funny because like there were two boats, right? One of one for us and one for the other group. And the other group, they were like all Japanese, right? Yeah. All yeah. Japanese dudes S couldn't be happier to be there. Like they were so excited to be like at the sandbar playing volleyball. So they were like screaming. There's like videos of this too. Damn. They were just like screaming of excitement. From playing volleyball in the sand. Yeah, was it on did the it become water. like a us versus them moment? Like with no, the not really. Like oh, they you know, the last time they had an us versus them oh, moment. There. Man, yeah, <laughs> they didn't lie. I didn't. They didn't win. So <laughs> they, <laughs> they won that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we were out in the sand playing volleyball. It was just a cool time. Then we went snorkeling. I've never been snorkeling again. Yeah. I put on the stuff. Hard to learn. Nah, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Oh you know? shit! I struggled. I oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's easy to get water down the tube. Well, I just, you know, naturally you just know how to blow it out. So Okay, nice. <laughs> I guess I'm not natural. Technique. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I was because I was born in water. Oh, were you? I was born in the yeah, toilet. Yeah, born in the toilet. Word? No, yeah. I wasn't. That's what I, that's what I, that's, that's the story that I, you? that's the story that I ran with though. Okay. For so. a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I was born in this. Uh, <laughs> I did get scared though because so there's a perimeter that you're supposed to stay around like there's a sand there's a sand and the reef and stuff and you're supposed to stay in that perimeter okay yeah. but Faith and I kind of got sidetracked and we kind of like when I put my head up I was like wow we're f mad far and I look up and the excursionists were like come back and I started to get scared yeah because I was like yo I don't know Sharks. what's out here right, right you yeah. don't know what they're saying yeah so like I and I and then I started looking to the right because on the left is the reef and all the coral and all the fish and stuff but you look to the right and you see darkness Ooh. it's dark blue oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's just like dark blue you can't see anything and I started yeah. getting scared yeah. <laughs> that's, I just that's like kinda started scary, swimming yeah. back and I was like bro I can see how people die out here <laughs> just waiting <laughs> like, for the reef yeah because that because like you could get swept out and then eaten up by like a whale or something that's well, so scary. Yeah. No, seriously, true. Don't, well, I'm, oh, well, well. Well, I mean, I was well in you, but <laughs> whales don't eat people. Yeah, they, they do. They could. They do? I They're like know. orcas. That's a shark. Orca is a whale. Oh. I yeah. thought they were a brand of shark. Nah, man. Nah. Whales, bro. Nah, okay. Nah. Yeah. But yeah, so that was fun. 
We did a lot of hikes. We did Waimea Falls. Have you guys, are you, have you guys done? No, no I haven't I been to Waimea Falls. Is that what the shirt you're wearing? Yeah. Okay. So it's like a, it's not really a hike. It's more of just like a, a, a walk. A scenic route. It feels like, this part of Hawaii feels like I'm in Jurassic Park. Like yeah. There's trees everywhere. Yeah. I feel like I'm about to see a, a dinosaur at any point. Yeah. You went to bot- Botanical Garden? I guess I should let you finish. Go ahead. Yeah, there was like, well, we didn't go to a botanical garden, but there was, you know, there was some cool things yeah, in that, yeah. on that walk. And then at the end, it's like a waterfall that you can get in. They put life vests on because it's like the water's like 30 feet deep and you get in is, you know, it's a good time, bro. Yeah. I would love for all of us to go again. Or all, I, I've never know. been to Hawaii, so I'm with it. Oh, man. you haven't? Never been. You would have thought he was with he, how fucking Yeah, he I would have thought you were with how much you were talking Always about Always talking it. story. No, well, not even is- that. I just thought you've been out there because you. When we were talking about it, you were like, "Yeah, you gotta make you make sure make sure to do this, make sure to do that." <laughs> I never said that. What? I don't know mm, nothing about nah. Hawaii. I was just messing. The orca no. is a dolphin. Oh, it's a killer whale, whatever. <laughs> no, nah, but I'm down to go to Hawaii. I've never been. Yeah, I would. Yeah, so. it'd, be, it'd be great to go. I'm but not, I'm also not too pressed to visit Hawaii. Dang. Be, no, because like devastating. No, just because like okay, hear me out. Because I feel like of all the like beach locations you can go to, I just feel like Hawaii is like Accessible? still like America. Oh. Yeah. And so like I would like go to like DR or the Cayman Islands. Okay. Or- Does it feel like America? Um, yeah, for sure. It's not it's not like I haven't seen a beach before. But just a vibe though, like Yeah, like, it's just a, a tropical, yeah. you know, no. vibe. A tropical America. Yeah. Tropical America, yeah. but there are a lot of parts of it that don't feel like America. Yeah. yeah, like I would, I would, I'd love to visit, but like you know what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Like, I guess my my dang was coming out of like you don't want to visit Hawaii. No, like I think it's so great there that I would. I think maybe you're underestimating how cool how, it would yeah, be. Yeah, how go? cool it would be. Yeah, because it's more than just beaches. Yeah. yeah, probably, probably, but also I really, I really fuck with the Hawaiian culture. Oh, yeah. Then you yeah. would. Yeah. So like I probably would enjoy it a lot. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's funny because I'd be talking to uh, Faith's cousins who are who live in Hawaii and who yeah. like, you know, I don't want to say they speak pigeon, but they have a Hawaiian accent. Yeah. And I would catch myself starting to like morph and sp- and also like take on the Hawaiian accent. And yeah. I'd be like, yo, you got to stop because that's not who you are. You yeah. don't want to be out here appropriating like the accent. I think you would pick it up a lot faster than you think. Yeah, you pick it up. When I was hanging out with all my Hawaiian homies. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. I was picking it up mid conversation and I caught yeah. I would catch myself like starting to speak in that way and I'd be like, That's I gotta stop. Cause I'm oh, not bro, you like eat. <laughs> so I had to really, you know, I really had to put a pause on it. Yeah. Uh, but that's what the Hawaiian culture is, man. It's very inviting, bro. Yeah. It's like you they're so inviting. They love welcoming people. The like Filipinos, they love they want you to eat everything. Yeah. They want you to feel their culture. Like, it's not one of those cultures where it's like, yo, you're not one of us. Like, you can't do these certain things. Yeah. Like, Hawaiians would love for you to just be, you know. Yeah. Also, to be clear, I don't think any of Faith's family was native Hawaiian. They're just, yeah. A lot of them are, Fili- I mean, most of them are Filipino. Yeah. But, but they live in Hawaii. So yeah, Hawaii- and you pick up the accent. It's just yeah. like if you were Filipino and lived in the UK, you pick up the accent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so it was a great, it was a great time, man. Yeah. Um, it was cool to meet all the people. It's so funny to see people gasp. Yeah. When uh, you hit a corner and like, you know, I hit a, we were at the mall and we hit a corner and like this, this girl and her daughter like gasped and they're mm-hmm. like, oh my God, it's you. I've been DMing you and I, I, I thought I was going to catch you and I'm catching you here. Yo, so would you say it, cause I know in Canada it was pretty heavy with the recognition levels. What would you say Hawaii is compared well, to? Well, it's it's, un, it's unfair to compare because I was only in Canada for like two days, yeah. and I was in Hawaii for ten. Yeah. So and people got wind of you being out there. Yeah, because I was posting about it, and yeah. like you know, people were keeping an eye out. I guess. Yeah, you doxed yourself. People in your comments were like, "Oh, oh we yeah. know where you're at, bro. I know this hotel, you're at Binions or whatever it's called." Binions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, Lots of supporters for sure. I don't okay. know what the ratio is, but whenever we send out Tuesday orders, like it's always it's like Hawaii, there's always yeah. Hawaii. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we've been paying state tax there. Oh yeah, no, nah, we. <laughs> I mean, every every month I'm on <laughs> Hawaii's tax website. Yeah, taking care of that. So we, yeah, there's lots just of a poke. Lot of, you know what? I didn't eat as much poke as I thought really? I would. Really, I would have been I all will, over. I it. will say, I will say, 
Poke Express here is really good, dude. Yeah, because like, they're Hawaiians. Yeah, but I didn't. I thought I was gonna go there and be blown away by by the poke, and mm -hmm. maybe I didn't go to the right spots. Yeah, but like I would, we would eat poke out there, and I'd be like, man, I miss Poke Express. Dang, like I miss the you know the Palhana yeah. here. Well, you know what's crazy though? You're gonna walk into Poke Express this time, and you're gonna be like, man, I feel like I'm in Hawaii. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, because everyone there is like, I can't even. Sometimes their pigeon is so strong, I can't even understand them. Yeah. Like I got us and and they probably think like I'm Hawaiian yeah. when I walk in. I got the long hair and I'm a little dark, so they start. It's heavy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got to be like, nah, man, um, I'm not. What'd you say? <laughs> also glad you had a good time at Zippy's. Yeah, bro. We had a, yeah. so we have a Zippy's out here, but I never tried it, and I tried it for the first time. I got the chili and chicken mixed mm, plate. Sounds fire, bro. So fire. So the chicken was amazing. The mac salad was really good, and the chili was. I, you know, I was surprised by the chili. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I didn't. I didn't know what to expect, but I tried it with the rice. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. We went three times. That's fire, man. Yeah, we went you got three the same times. thing every time. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you just nice, did it right dude. there. For sure. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> for oh, sure. Bro. And we had it. Leonard's. You guys ever had nah. malasadas? Malasadas. Yeah. It's like a malasadas. fried. It's a donut, pretty much. Yeah. I always get malasadas at Star Star Bread. Oh, they do have malasada there. Yeah. But yeah, I had them at Leonard's. Bro, so fire. They look good. Man, I kind of want to go. We should, man. Go eat. It's, you know, it's not as expensive as I thought it would. Like, the flight there wasn't as expensive as I thought it would be. Yeah. For some reason, it was? it was like, well, I, I signed up for the credit card. And oh, so I nice. was able to. I don't think that's the way to. I mean, I have many reservations about oh, that. But God. the points. But. The flight to buy is like 600 bucks round trip, which I thought, I thought it'd be like in the thousands. Yeah, it's for some reason. sounds about right. But, yeah. But they when said me and Jess the, went, it was about six. Uh, the best time to go is in the summertime. Because mm. it, it, that's the cheapest. Mm, it can okay. get down to like three or 400. I saw where Jay and Jess stayed. Bro, yeah. they were staying at a nice spot. And I know Jay was, it had to be expensive. Oh yeah, but it was sick, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you guys yeah. like. We had like a swim up bar pool oh, wow. situation that yeah i saw where they stayed bro i was like yo jay got more money than i than i realized yeah private beach dang man jay got more what money. but it was like shared with like the other hotels and everything. Jay got more oh, money okay. than i realized you had, you had a resort it mm -hmm. was like hotel row over there where we stayed mm. like tourist central yeah tourist, you, it was you like guys tourist were in a resort central. too right it wasn't a resort it was a it was a hotel and it was okay. just like hotels everywhere so it was just it was a tourist filled spot but i'm glad because faith's brother was he was born in Hawaii, so he was yeah. able to take us around. And a lot of Faith's family lives out there. So we were able to do some things off the grid yeah. you know, yeah. where there weren't many tourists, which yeah, I was very, very happy yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to get out the area. We, I, was luckily, I was lucky to have a friend over there that let us use his truck while uh, we were there. Nice, man. Nice, man. I don't know nobody out there. Well, you well, know actually, us. I think we have some family out there. I could probably there. name drop. Okay, well, we don't have to do that. Uh, you guys know... <laughs> But we do have a we do have a, a family member that lives out there. We're not close with him, but Who you, Chris, you still live out there? Uh, oh no, wait, he lived in he lived in California. No, one of our uncle's sons, he lives out there. Oh, for real? Yeah, we don't gotta say his name, but uncle's son. Yeah, so a cousin. Yeah, who's that? We could talk about it later. It really okay. don't matter. But uh, <laughs> he hears he's like, bro, I'm not letting you use no. no yeah, I, I, I gotta go to work still. Bro. Yeah, what's this with uh, Faith getting cat called. Oh yeah, so this was my first experience ever, like experiencing Faith, like in public getting like cat called. Yeah, and it was a pretty aggressive one too. So it was the day that we went to Pearl Harbor. So yeah. we woke up mad early. I'm just trying to set it up because of what they said. We woke up mad early. Did we were out in the sun all day, like you know, doing the Pearl Harbor thing, which I think was very insightful. I think yeah. you would enjoy it. Oh, I love history. I will. Yeah, be all over it. You guys, did you guys visit Pearl Harbor? I think I don't think locals go to really to pearl harbor when i was yeah. really young but, yeah oh you did mm -hmm. when i was really young that's crazy because like you're ha you're not japanese but like you were a part of that so you're basically an invader i know right yeah. i feel like a spy yeah. a double spy though yeah you're like you're like tri-citizen that's like sounds like the what's in Merz's body right yeah. now. <laughs> the blood test came back. It <laughs> says your tri citizens, citizens are up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep the population down. Yeah, I do. I really do. Uh, no, but we went to Pearl Harbor. We were out all day and uh, we were just tired from being in the sun. So we were, you know, we're heading home. We get off the bus. We're walking back. And, you know, we're, we're tired. So yeah. we look tired. So the, 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 there's this group of people like at the corner just like, 
they say, yo, she looks, she looks bored. You guys are boring. And she was talking about me, her brother, and, and Faith's brother-in-law. Yeah. Dang. She was like, you guys are boring. Uh, she needs to be around more interesting people or something like that. I can't remember exactly verbatim yeah. what they said, but like yeah, she was like, she's aggressive. bored. Like, uh, yeah, all this other stuff about her looking bored and being bored and like yeah. now she's with boring people. Yeah. And then she walked by and then he was like, and she got a nice ass. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. yo, <laughs> yo, and I, was, yo. <laughs> and I was like, what, bro? So we just, but we just kept walking. I mean, I'm not going to draw attention to it. What am I going to say? Yeah. So we just keep walking. And then I was like, that was so weird. Yeah, it's kind of Because it was yeah. like a 15 second interaction. Yeah. So it was more than just like a cat call. It was more, it was like. Maybe they were feeling a little brave seeing all the war shit, you know? Like, yeah. Maybe. Well, were they, they weren't were even they part. Nah, they were, they were black. Well, were they just from seeing, Hawaii? I don't know. I, I'm not sure if they live there or not. But uh, I mean, also they could be black and Hawaii. I don't know. Yeah. I I don't know if they live there. I don't know anything about them. I just saw them on the corner. I guess what I was trying to ask, did they have a Hawaiian accent? No, no, they no. definitely didn't. Okay. I definitely didn't. She but was bored. They were yeah. probably feeling they was probably feeling real like Like I could like you know when strong. you're out with your boys and you're like in a different Oh, they're real they're feeling real confident. Confident, yeah. Like, yeah. yo, we're we're pulling. But I was I was trying to look at it from their perspective, like where did they th- and maybe they didn't think any further than like where is it gonna go? But like what what kind of outcome did they think was going to happen from this interaction? I don't know. I feel like it's a perfect time to use jujitsu. What? But it's not really. There's nothing, like, oh, there's nothing yeah. really to protect. I know, but you could just be like, oh, yeah, what do you want to do? <laughs> what plans do you guys have? That doesn't sound very self defense like, though. I'm just saying, ask him, what plans do you have that make it funner? Yeah. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, there's not what I mean, kind of what kind of outcome though. Like, yeah, like oh, bro, we went to Hawaii this one time, and bro, uh, we had this girl leave her boyfriend right in the middle of Pearl Harbor. Yeah, what well, at the USS Arizona? <laughs> no, it was we weren't at we were so we were already like back in Waikiki. At oh, this okay, time. okay. But like, I don't know. Maybe they didn't think that far. Maybe they were just messing around. Maybe they were just it was just like a bravado thing. Yeah, you know, it could be confident with your boys saying saying yeah. just saying things. Yeah. I don't know. I feel it. I it mean, was weird. It was just it just made me feel weird because it's like, honestly, I would have. Well, you can get cat called anywhere, but that, that sounds like a Vegas cat call. That's not, yeah, that sounds like a Vegas. Type yeah, because yeah. I feel like cats feel like that when they come to Vegas. Yeah, yeah. But I guess it was just also weird because it was her brother and her brother in law. Like, yeah, oh, yeah it's, uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's very like uncomfortable. now. What do you do? Yeah. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Like you don't even you don't you don't even know what you're saying, bro. Yeah. Like imagine imagine. Imagine I wasn't there and it was just them three and they yeah. said that. Then it'd be like, bro, you don't even know the relation that. Yeah. Of what's going on. Of what's going on, bro. <laughs> like, you guys are weird. Yeah. No, I, I always think it's weird when dudes do that. I just feel like it's the same energy as like, you know, you're flying to like a, a for a vacation and, and, and you're like on Instagram taking a picture outside the window and you're the t- it says we about to shut it down like that's the energy it gives oh, me oh like, like you that really last night was though. a movie that made, type. Me, yeah. that made me cringe but you but but nothing goes down the whole week and you go back with lies yeah we about to shut it down <laughs> <laughs> what is this covid bro <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. you like, feel what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah posing yeah, yeah. with a car that's that not energy. yours because yeah, like i feel like dudes that got game don't don't talk like that if yeah, they got yeah, Riz. True, they true, don't. True. They don't do like. Oh no, nah, they're not out in on the corner like with nothing, nothing going on in their life. Yeah, like, I'm not saying that they don't have it. Maybe, but maybe also they're waiting to, for a scooter. Maybe, but to have the time to do that, like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's just it's it's mad disrespectful. It makes women feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I I can't think of any woman that would be that would be turned on by that. No, I also don't know many, but like. I don't. I can't imagine there'd be somebody out there that's like, oh yeah, I'm. I, that's you're right. I'm bored. I am bored. Take me away from these guys. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like the only women that would be attracted to that is like toxic women. Maybe. That like that shit. Toxica? El Toxico, man. Yeah. That's a great song. Yeah. Yeah. You also went to Diamond Head? Went to Diamond Head. That was, that was cool. the hike. It was substantial? Nah. Difficult? No, nah, it was easy. It's pretty, right? it it pretty chill. Yeah. No, it's yeah. hard for this guy. Man, stop. Hey. No, no, but the, I will say the the, the last hike what we did p- at Pillbox, that one was pretty difficult because oh, they really? had like at the beginning of it, it was very steep. So they had rope like yeah. attached to the trees that you had to use and you had to yeah. like, you know, oh, climb cool. and stuff. Doesn't that feel like really 
like Tarzan. Yeah. yeah. Adventurous. And I had to pee. Ooh. Yeah. So like I had to duck off and like I fell. Dang. Can yeah. we pee in the wild? No. Ew. That's what the locals don't want tourists coming in and doing, I man. They just disrespect but, the but, land. But what made me, and I'm th- maybe I'm throwing him under the bus, but what made me feel comfortable was... F- mans? A, a, yeah, mans. A, 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 f- a family friend. Yeah. Who lived on the island, who lived in the area. Yeah. He went, he did it first. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'm good if he's going to do it. Oh, brother, he, he show you like this. If he gave, if he's going to do it, I feel like I can do it too, even though yeah. I'm not a local, but whatever. Yeah, I had to go, man. I went to the bathroom so many times on this trip. I bet a lot of hydration, lots of hydration for sure. Yeah. Dang, man. Let's go, man. I'm down. Yeah, the I'd pod love pay. to. Let's do a run club out there. I'm I'd down. Love to. That was actually I, so on the last run that I did. Somebody was like, "Yo, I got a run club. I've been hitting you up about it, but you never responded." It was like a slight, almost. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Brian, <laughs> <laughs> a little passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah. You never responded, but I mean, yeah. And I was like, "Bro, I didn't. You know, my bad." And he's like, "Yeah, we got a run club out here, and uh, we would love for you to partake, but it was too late." Yeah. But it's all good, man. It's all good. We'll start our own. Yeah. You no. Know? I do want to go back. I feel like I'm on Hawaii time still. Three hours. Yeah. You know, behind. What didn't you get to do that you wanted to do? Um, I don't know. Because I thought you were eating musubi left and right. No, nah, I only had maybe three or four. Dang, man, that's not enough. Yeah. But once you got one, I mean, I love, I love them, <laughs> but I'm not about to eat them every day. I'm just saying because because just the sheer availability. Yeah, I guess I didn't take advantage of it enough, but that would be like you remember how I don't feel like I missed out on anything. Yeah, but in Japan we was we was eating the same thing every morning, bro. Like yeah, that's why I thought it would have went. No, I was trying to get some some variety out there. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, you know, respect. But I don't think I missed out on anything, and and you don't know what you don't know, so I don't I don't know what I missed out on. Mm. Yeah. Well. Next well, time. we'll go back. Yeah, we'll go back and figure out some new things. I want to. Do. I want to do that sandbar. Uh, Dude, that was fire. Yeah, and you could go to like sandbar parties at night. Oh, yeah, that's what, what I want. That do. sounds kind of scary. Hell yeah! Uh, <laughs> being in the water at night. Nah. What? <laughs> nah, nah man. man. Come on. You're not scared of you that. You guys are not. I need you guys to be more risky. You're not. Dude. You're not scared. Of, that doesn't make that. You're not afraid of like being open water at night. Part of it is. It sounds like fun. But I think like being. <laughs> scared of it or nah. i think sharks sleep at night though right I, that's uh, not even I, i'm i'm not even really afraid of the sharks i'm just more so afraid of like my feet in the water and i don't know what's under me yeah and you're just like swimming in open water yeah and you could just get taken away at any point maybe there's like other sandbars with like lighting Maybe if I'm on, maybe if I'm just on the sand, yeah, but not yeah, yeah. out in the water. Yeah, not on the water. Okay, yeah, like, sure. Yeah. If I'm just on the sand, I'm cool. But if I'm out in the water, I'm good, bro. What else? Can that sounds do scary. There? I want to do the swim up bar. Swim What's up that? bar. The one he uh, did, as in front of his hotel. That hotel was. I mean, again, I don't know how expensive it was, but I know it was expensive. I'll, I'll let me try to buffer myself. It was in 2021. Okay, things post-COVID. were still things were still a little like tight yeah yeah so maybe maybe prices were lo- uh, a bit looser yeah because i'm i'm estimating like at least six seven hundred a night over there yeah i feel you jay because i went to is that a is that pretty accurate uh that's it's still over but i feel it was expensive i will say yeah it, it was yeah. expensive because i went to a uh i went to a resort in mexico in 2021 and it was it was a really nice one and it was super cheap yeah less than 200 dollars a night yeah Oh, oh that's, wow! Yeah, that's like, a steal. It was like it was like one nineteen a night or one twenty nine a night. Oh, that's a steal, yeah. bro! And then you just had to pay the all inclusive fee, yeah. which I think was an extra hundred bucks a day, and get a timeshare meeting. No, no you I'm don't kidding. do you don't do timeshares at I'm this. Point. It's like when you play a game and then you have to like watch ads <laughs> to like <laughs> yeah. to like. Get that's past. one of those. <laughs> that's what it feels like. It's like a three hour ad. Like, though. why is this on chess talk? Talk. App. Yeah, you're just watching the timer, just like yo, hurry up, man! <laughs> say what you got to say. Can't even press skip. Yeah. No skip. Yeah. yeah, you don't know skip. <laughs> you don't know skip, bro. Yeah. So let's go, man. I'm down, bro. Yeah, we got all this money. Yeah. Extra money. We could do we could uh we could plan it. Um Dude, with yeah, that because, money we could definitely afford that expensive ass hotel. Yeah. Well we could we could we could slum it out. Well, because right. the, the other the other cities bit. we have, we should probably go to those when it's like cooler because they're okay, so in the Hawaii, so what you're saying south. is Hawaii next month. Hell yeah. I can't go next month. All right. April? Me neither. No. We can't go next month. 
you can't even go next month. Well, actually, no, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you're on a different time. Yeah, you're on Hawaiian time. Yeah, now. yeah I'm, you're on a different time. Yeah, bro. yeah, I'm, I'm my yeah, my 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 travels got to wait till after. Oh, okay. June, I, okay. Hey, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. Oh, okay. I'm doing my excursion too, man. Yeah, Did yeah. you go to North Shore at all? Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, we had a little uh, barbecue up there. You didn't consider like surfing or nothing. Or? I wanted to. One of Faith's cousins was down to teach me. But we just couldn't find the time oh, to man. do it. A yeah. personal teacher. Yeah. I also didn't want to feel like a a, a, a kook. I think uh, that's what they call him. Yeah, a noob. Yeah, like I didn't want you know I didn't want to be like a noob in a white belt out in the in the in the water. But everybody's got to learn some some at some point. Yeah, maybe not white belt white belting it out in North Shore. Maybe I do want to surf at some point. Have you guys ever gone surfing? I never. Nah. I don't even want. It looks to. fun. I'm good. I want to. Last thing I need is a shark like coming through and trying to take my yeah. leg off. Yeah. So I'm good on that. So a cruise is what you're saying? <laughs> I'd rather be on a cruise and go surfing to be. Dude, real. there's cruises too, Hawaii. Let's do it. Oh man, yes. Maybe see, we should do month. this, but it might be cheaper. Next that's month. how we combine everyone's interests. Next yeah. month. That might be. That's kind of sounds scary though. September. Next month, September. Yo, you remember the last cruise? I was like, I wanted to get every real. episode is about a cruise. <laughs> Not what happened. Remember, I was like, I'm just trying to see Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. I, when you said that, I thought you'd been already. No, nah, I ain't never, bro. I ain't never been. It's all good. We'll figure it out. Been. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Anyways, how was recording without me? Oh, it sick, was, dude. Yeah, it was cool, man. We, it was better? We tried new things. It was yeah. much better. Yeah. yeah, we tried new things. I'm sure a lot of people enjoyed that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, we didn't even have as many people in the live. Yeah. Well, in the live, maybe, but... When you're not in the show, no one wants to watch. No, I don't think yeah. that's true. No, I think true, I think there's a lot of people true. listening that... We're interested in hearing the dynamic without me here. I don't even think they care about that. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people just want all of us together. Oh, to yeah. that's the dynamic they like. Yeah, they really. That's just me like talking down on myself a little bit. I think that's just you trying to find escape. Oh, you're trying Plan to escape, escape route. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing the show. <laughs> yeah, just be like, hey, you guys got it from here. No, Look, I just think it's, it looks like it, you do it, well. it does feel a little bit more relaxed. Like people can breathe a little bit more <laughs> when I'm not here. <laughs> Does it feel guys, like we're we stressed? We can talk about whatever we want. Yeah, like you guys could talk about sports. I'm not trying. No, nah, we like... we actually we didn't talk. About, did we talk, did we tap, tap in? No, nah, we didn't talk about. Yeah, any we didn't sports. talk about sports. Okay, that wasn't on. The... It was a different show though. It was a little different. Yeah, I mean, I... we did talk about like it. You know, S and a D's cop to get out of a ticket. S and a cop's D to get out of a ticket. S and a D's cop. Oh, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Wait. For <laughs> S and a D's cop. It sounds like a bar. <laughs> No, nah, it was cool, man. Uh, I mean, it it was, we had to we had to keep going, man. The show must go on. Yeah, I respect. You know, that. We were prepared though. Like we, we had there's gonna notes. be a couple times coming up that's gonna be the show must go on. Yeah. Oh shoot, I oh, forgot yeah. to plan all that. Yeah. We need an itinerary for yeah. that because yeah. I'm going to I'm going to the Philippines in May. Yeah. Dude, it, super. I might for never you come that. back. I'm going to Korea in June. He might so, never yeah. come. It might just be a solo J. Yeah. That might be when the show explodes. Yeah just me yeah talking talk about how i miss you guys <laughs> all right y'all welcome back that would be kind of interesting i don't think we've ever done that like a solo a solo show there's no it, if i ever had to do a solo show it's just gonna be me ranking uh fast food on the tier list that's it <laughs> you don't think you could just talk for like 30 minutes about like what's going on in your life yeah but it would always have to be in some sort of format tier list uh -oh. survey says yeah man yeah. yesterday i went to work that was like a four uh, f tier work f tier uh, eating a tier. I feel like the there's only a few people, in my opinion, I only can think of one off top that could do a solo show and it's entertaining, and that's Theo Vaughn. Oh yeah, yeah. And like you have to have you have to be that type of dude where you could just keep going, mm -hmm. just talk about nothing for a minute. Yeah, but it's so funny. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, but I don't know. Like yeah, we uh we gotta figure that out. We gotta figure that well, out. Maybe we could do one remote. Maybe I could do a little z zoomeroni. Uh. Well, I'm in the Philippines. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard though. Like a remote. What's the What's the uh? It's like a thirteen, it's like 13? hours ahead. Damn, yeah, imagine that. That'd be hard to coordinate. It's hard to coordinate now. And yeah. We're in the same time zone. And yeah, imagine doing a thirteen hour difference. It That's all it better. is. I Damn, so. me and Jess way complicated it with trying to talk to each other. I think isn't that? <laughs> She's like, I'm like, okay, add five hours to your time now. Switch the a.m. to p.m. And then when you wake up, call me, and I'll see if I'm awake. It's just thirteen ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's 6.15 a.m. 
13 ahead. This is where yeah. it works well for wow. Wiz because he wants to do it in the morning. So he's like, yo, 10 a.m. And it's like, we want to do it at night. So it's like, like okay. 7 p.m. here. Uh, cool. Yeah. 6.15 is in the trunk, man. Yeah. I, I, uh, it was a fun show, but I like when we're all four and we're just like, we're, yeah. we're going at we it. We do miss Jerm. We didn't even mention that Jerm wasn't here. but Yeah. And Jerm actually, you guys won't see Jerm for oh, man. probably nine months. He's about to have a kid. <laughs> yeah, he's about to birth one. Okay, I think uh, people don't know when we're joking. Okay, you're right. <laughs> you're, right. Oh, yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. Because uh, I don't know when we're joking sometimes either. Yeah, Germ's not having a child. I don't have the measles. Yeah, Wiz yeah. never had the measles. Yeah, he doesn't have the measles. We got to have somebody here telling the truth at least. Yeah, it's true. I don't want it to be me. Okay, but Germ's not here. He's out traveling right now. He wanted to get one big trip in before he starts barber school. This, yeah. None of this is a joke. Yeah. This is factual. Yeah. He's starting barber school. So he's going to be gone for nine months grinding it pause he's gonna be out there like you know shaping things up pause and uh really taking it in pause <laughs> taking it in so uh hey, lining it up so uh we wish germ all the best and i didn't even know that germ wasn't gonna be around anymore yeah. i didn't know either until you yeah. said it after last recording yeah, he's like he just said, all right guys it's, it's been one. real yeah. <laughs> like bro what <laughs> we'll, we'll try to get him in for like some maybe after hours or bonus Maybe we could do one at the barbershop or the school. Paul Mitchell? I'm playing. I yeah. know that's not it. but I just One of them. We'll just let people go there looking for germ. Are you going to get cut up by germ? Yeah, I got I got uh, two appointments lined up for April. No, no. Like at the shop? Nah, I'm going to just be at the crib. Oh, he's going to do it off the grid. For, for me, clock. yeah, for me. Just for you? I guess because he said that's what he I told thought me. he was taking all his stuff there. Well, I think they have to carry it in a box. I he thought he to was trying it. to do it at the shop because he'd, he'd much rather have all cuts count for hours. Oh, he's definitely going to make you go there. Well, he told me he, my appointment's at 10 p.m. So, <laughs> P.m.? Yeah. Oh, wow. The school's already closed by then. I don't know, man. Look, if I got to sit on the toilet again, if we're going back to those days. No, I could because I, I for some reason, I picture Jerem like he's really he really wants you to follow the rule. So he'll yeah. make you go to the spot. Well, that's what that's what I thought at first, but then he was like, "Yo, 10 p.m. It'll you be." Yeah, your haircut on a toilet. Yeah, when you first started, it was. He was toilet. cutting. In the, yeah. You too. No, I thought you got cut up Jason. in the hot ass garage. I did get cut up in the hot garage. I never got, got cut up on a toilet. I'm just saying that's when he first started. Uh, yeah. okay. He was doing it out the bathroom. I think Jay Z was one of his first clients. Jay Z. Jay Z. Oh yeah. Okay. My brother, Jason. Got you. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna miss Germ. Well, maybe it's just me. No, I'm going to miss Germ. I miss Germ now. Yeah, man. Come back home. Nah, uh, yeah, so sorry you know if you don't see Germ no more. Yeah, you know what's funny? You know how like people say like your frontal lobe doesn't really fully develop until you're 25? Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why he's getting a lot funnier now. Yeah, he's... he's oh, yeah, you he's guys been, been in on this, and he he's had been a hitting early. lately. Like, yeah. he's been getting smarter... This year. Because he's like, what, 26? Yeah, he's 26 now. So maybe it's like fully developed now. Yeah, I think so. And like the... Like, the jokes that he's saying they're not just dumb they're like smart like intellectual jokes yeah like yeah. you got to know some things to be making those kind of jokes yeah and they're when fire, he, they're, they're fire bro and this is such a sad time for him to not be here for the jokes oh yeah yeah and to hear this the compliments right well he's editing this so he'll hear it but yeah he's still gonna edit for us guys but he's not he's just not gonna be on the show are you gonna go to the shop to get cut yeah, I got to support. Uh, that's I what, that's what I was going about. to. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. He said I'm not, I'm not, not going to bend the rules. <laughs> I'm not bending the rules. I'm not, say, I'm not saying. saying you are. I'm just saying I'm going to go during business hours when the light, when there's still sun outside, making sure that his his teacher sees him putting in the hours. Because imagine all the unaccounted for hours. Like the teacher don't see that. That's yeah. just extra time on his plate that he could have been doing in the shop. That's but true. no, but like he got to do one at 10 p.m. It's crazy. He said that he scheduled that, man. <laughs> he scheduled that, man. It could be 10 p.m. on the toilet. Man, you guys are accusing me like I'm puffy or something. <laughs> accusing you? Accusing. 10 p.m. in the Philippines, 7 a.m. here. <laughs> could have could have done it way easier bro <laughs> yeah this dude man this dude's crazy this dude man this dude's crazy it's, it's that we, we came up with that theory wait Jess. that's not 13 hours 12 that's 16 15 i don't know is it count all right because what's 12 hours from now right now it's 3 p.m right so 12 hours from now 
It's 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. Plus 3. Plus 3. 6, 6 a.m. Yeah. That's 15 hours. Okay, sorry. Either way, you still were struggling. <sighs> yeah. So add three hours, change the a.m. to p.m., and we're there. Yeah. So how did you talk to Jess? It, like, what was the... How did you do it? Like, mm. what time of the day? The times ended up being like either 8 a.m. or 11 p.m. Yeah. Because 11 p.m. was like 8 here or something. Yeah. I, don't, I, can, I felt kind of bad after the fact. Like when you got back, I always realized I was like, damn, you even check on her while she was here by herself. Well, because she was sending pictures of pizza and like. Yeah, you she know. got her like white sauce, p- pineapple pizza. Yeah. yeah. It's but not, I'm just saying, because you live in like. Man, she's treacherous a, town. She's an bro. adult, dude. She could take care of herself. Treacherous town. No, but I no, feel I, you. We I, did I feel you. It, I think if you had told me you checked on her, I'd be like, oh, that's very sweet. Yeah, we. Yeah. but we did. But you didn't, so I think. But you're we, not I sweet. think also because like we were, she was hitting the group chat, so. Maybe that's no, that's not an excuse. We should have been like, we should be looking yeah. out for each Safety other. Safety-wise, just, you yeah. know, there's a lot of weirdos out there. They might be clocking like, yo, he hasn't showed up. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? That's pretty messed up. Yeah, yeah we guys, never asked her, like, do you, do you need gas? Like, Yeah, are you good? You need avocados? Do you, yeah, like. Well, she hit you up at, you, at 1 a.m. Are you going to go get gas for her? No. Yeah, ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. Yeah, you know we could at least ask. Did did your citizenship come in yet? Like we didn't even. You know what I'm saying? We didn't even. Yeah, no text. We I'm just, not. I'm not dating a terrorist, guys. She's. <laughs> she, it's just a woman. It's just yeah. She's just she's still a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, but no. Nah, um, that's She's, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Next time, next, next time you time. go to the Philippines, we'll make sure to check. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Citizen Kane, you good? <laughs> I'm excited for you though. Because you're staying for a whole 30 days yeah, in our hometown or, yeah, oh, wait, no, you said you have a whole thing. I th- well, yeah, we'll be there. That'll be home base. Yeah. We'll be in Bum Bun. Um, you're going to any of the uh, resorts? To, Not yeah, resorts. We're going to like, Barakai. Oh, yeah. My parents have been watching tons of like walkthrough videos. It's literally just like a steady cam going through a scene. Yeah, I love watching those. And it's just like no talking, like yeah. an hour long, just walking through the street. Yeah, I love those. Like, oh, we're going to go over here. Yeah. And then we're just like watching it while eating dinner. Like, oh, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, I, I, yeah. That's so it's like be I've been there already. My dad went uh, in October with my mom and like uh, our family down to I think what's the one that starts with a P? The Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Bambanga. Palawan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, yeah. Padawan. Palawan. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I don't know if that's what your dad was referring to. Okay, I think that's where they went. Anyways, and uh, he came back and he was like. Bro, there's nothing to do. Like you have to be like young to be there. Mm. Like it's not really for the olds. Yeah, yeah. So he was like out on the water, like miserable. Like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yo, this is not me. Yo, man. I'm just trying this to. It's not who I am. Chill. Yeah, yeah, I did the navy for 20 years. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I want to be on the water, dude. Again. I really think you'd enjoy Pearl Harbor. Like just being. Yeah, you, I'm a big like fan. being on the U.S. The, on the Missis on the uh, Missouri. Yeah, the USS Missouri. Man, look, I've been. I've watched the, all the movies. I've going seen all through the, the shit, bro. You telling me a pearl made this harbor? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I wanna. I wanna feel. I wanna feel the echoes, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wanna. I wanna. I wanna hear the screams. I wanna. You Whoa, know. dude. I wanna be involved. I wanna. I wanna go back in time, man. I'm a history buff. You think I'll lift weights in the gym? To, no, no, to man. be like, I want to hear the screams. It's like, that's kind of crazy. My Let's bad. See. No disrespect, man. I respect everything. But also at the same time, I like to make fun of things. Can we live? Can we live just I don't. I didn't bit? think. I didn't think hearing the screams was making fun. I just thought it was a crazy thing to want to hear. Not, look, and I'm just I, saying, I want to be in there. Merz is built different, bro. Yeah. Like, I know we joke around about his algorithm, but it's real. Just show me some of the, vi- the TikToks you guys share. I'm like, this guy, this is what he's watching on his free time. <laughs> what is he watching? Criminal stuff. <laughs> Yo, I'm like, no man. wonder he's worried about pretty everything. Much everything you're, he's you're watching. Diddy with no money. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. 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 <laughs> the diddler. Whoa. Can we relax? Your P did he. <laughs> nah, man. I don't, I don't run. I'm not, I'm not running with bad boys, man. I'm not running but with you're, bad boys. You, you're interested in the crime. I just like, I like story. I love stories. I love history. I love watching other people. Uh, You're Chris Watts. Go through things. No, I'm not. 
Which one's Chris Watts? He's the one that killed his whole family because he wanted to be with oh, another girl. Yeah. Yeah, d- put him down the oil drain. Yeah, he's a what? little... He's a little... On the record, he's a little bitch. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. my birthday weekend. <laughs> it's my birthday weekend. <laughs> it's my birthday weekend. <laughs> Murray's about to have a birthday weekend in May. Bro, he's about to have a he's birthday about to have week. A, he's about to have a blowout. <laughs> it's my birthday weekend, guys. Boys trip. <laughs> I'm going to get my nails done. <laughs> Yo. What's wrong man. with that, bro? What's wrong with having a boy's... No, nah, I mean, there's a, nothing a, a wrong birth, with it. I just felt like... A birthday it's just, night. It's, I feel like... I just always feel cringe when I'm like explaining to people what, what I'm going to do and yeah. then I say my birthday for my birthday. <laughs> I feel it just you. feels cringe. It, right. I don't really like the attention already, but I do want to do something. It says the guy with his own camera. <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm saying. If you... If you want to do something for your birthday, you f- I feel like you should just own up to being like, yeah, we're doing this for my birthday. No, I've, I understand what you're saying, though. I do feel weird being explaining th- like a whole day dedicated to me or a whole night dedicated to celebrating my yeah. birthday because or a whole it, week. It, it, it gets a feeling like like you're there for me, but yeah. no, nah, I just want to be f- there for y'all. Yeah, what kind of... Okay. What kind of rigmarole? <laughs> <laughs> You want to be there for us. <laughs> Yo, I made like my own flyer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you feel weird, bro. This dude got like a Coachella set list of like <laughs> the activities Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I thought it was so tight that I made it my uh, my phone cover. Like the, when, Oh, you made I, your background? Yeah. And I showed Peggy. She's like, that's conceited. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That is kind of crazy. Like you made a flyer about yourself and then you put it on. Like that's fine. But then making it the phone background is crazy. Yo. It's like I see when people when sometimes when I see like older people, older people's phones and their background is just themselves. Just like, yo, them. respect. Yeah. But that's like I guess it's something that I don't really understand. Just yeah. just yourself. Yeah. yeah like not, a selfie of yourself when you first got the phone. That's how you no, well, the reason like people do that is if you know people find their phone and who oh, this is what's his name? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I I well. Yeah. Like, hey, do you find that phone right there next to that slot machine? You're like, yeah, this is my phone. You're like, okay, show the screen. You're like, that's That's me, bro. Actually, you know what, dude? Let me just do that real quick because that's actually kind of. You're on it already. Are you in there? No, it's me and Faith, but like, but just yourself is kind of crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. When have y'all seen the fire mate? No, I haven't seen it. I'm just gonna show you. You sent it. I don't want to. No, that's so funny though, because like, if someone steals your phone, like, how are you gonna deny? How are you going to say that, that this is your phone? Yeah, that's it's literally you holding a robo pee. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. That's kind of wild. This looks like the take care cover. <laughs> that looks like take care of me. Yo, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? Is that a speakeasy? Nah, it's, a, it's the bar that we're going to be at. Oh, like yeah. the actual. The actual bar, yeah. Wow, you're dude. so artistic, man, and dude. your hair is like long. I know, man. That's why I, you're so I, dreamy. It's, it's just like as far as like, oh, I did this, yeah, you know. <laughs> this is my phone, bro. Yeah, so if you wanna, if you wanna join, whoa, or if you want, if you want info <laughs> into where the, it's also it's not officially. I thought we were I talking about security issues earlier. No, this is, you got signed for the Patreon. Okay. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna, because that's where the details would be at. Because unofficially, officially, it's also the OC Marathon kickoff. Okay, well, for the F and P Run Club. Yeah, there we go. What Run Club? <sighs> this guy, man. We'll catch you up to speed later, man. Yeah, you got a lot of training to do for that. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was, ooping it so you guys could talk about the Run Club. Oh, were you? Yo, if you don't want to take advantage of it, no, I'll, no, no, I'll I don't want to take it. I'm, I'm right. not trying to take advantage. Of you, no, 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 no. No, I don't want. To. That's not. No. People know what's up. Fine. Even if they don't, that's fine. Yeah, nobody. We, wants we you want to. you to run. That's the club. We yeah, want you that's in. the club we want you a part of, bro. When yeah. are you like, I feel like we did the five k, and then you kind of just. I was running better, and then I had the measles, and then now I'm back off of. Yeah, any but type you've been schedule. back for like three weeks. I've been back for like a two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Hey, it's already been two. I think. Yeah. I feel like I, feel like just I just gave back. you your puzzle bones. Are you doing the five k? In, in officially, May? no. Oh. I feel like you could just hop in there, but I unofficially. Feel like. Unfi- I mean, I f- still feel like the sign up's open, right? Yeah, yeah it's sure. open for until sure. the day of, man. Yeah, so, you know. I feel like me. you start training, you know. Now? Yeah. You got plenty of time. Yeah. A couple, in a month? You don't need much more than that. I don't think so. You literally could. 
I could run with halitosis right now. <laughs> you do have halitosis. That's not true. You need to brush that. Tongue. J breath. <laughs> J breathe on me. J out of breath is really what it is. Yeah. yeah. J breath sounds like one of Puffy's uh, artists. Making the band was good, man. Chopper. Chopper. Think about what he was telling him to do on camera. Think about what he was telling him to do off camera. I sure. know, right? That's true. Go yeah, get me Cambodian cake. breast milk from yeah, down the street. Exactly. Like that's that crazy. Sounds so niche. Go to Junior's and get cheesecake. It's a uh, it's a Chappelle show. He just it's loves good. to watch people do things for him. Well, Loki, he didn't even see them do it. Well, I guess if he watched the show, then he saw it. But like in the moment, there's no way he's watching episodes back, is he? You don't think so? You don't think he's like produce like he's like overseeing the edit? He's got to make sure I his damage is good. I doubt it. I really want to see how this thing goes down, man. I really want to see how this thing goes down. Yeah, well, that's just part of your crime nature. Yeah. yeah. Like that's you true. like seeing people like you go down. Yeah. <laughs> on me? No. Go no, down no. on you? No, no I'm Wait, just saying pe- people similar to you like seeing them get caught. Oh, I'm not him, bro. Come on, man. I'm not him. <laughs> I'm not him, bro. <laughs> Yo, he's him. Yo, no, I I'm am not, not him. I'm, I'm not, not him, him dude. I'm, I'm not him. This is did he pee? <laughs> <laughs> did he pee? Did yeah. he pee? On yeah. the islands, yeah. bro. <laughs> this dude was disrespecting the islands. I wasn't disrespecting. It was bro, off to the side. What if, what if you were peeing on some like on some like 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 some uh some ritual lands or something, bro? Native native lands that like they're trying to protect and like you just like contaminated it look i i'm gonna speak on this because i just watched dune yeah if you had peed maybe they appreciated the pee maybe i'm you know not saying? saying that they did i'm not saying they did just a, a big what but if. but the place that i went to it was really difficult to get to i made sure of that because one i didn't want to be seen and two i just really wanted to be tucked away like a like a wife pleaser hold up so you you did you went deep into the woods i went far like I went into the like I was in the bush. Yo, what if you saw like got a lost, like like a mythical creature? That would be crazy. Yeah. Wait, did you see any animals besides the sea turtles? I saw a lot of uh, roosters. Oh yeah, and chickens and chickens. Yeah. Wild chickens just crossing. It the sounded street. yeah, it sounded like the Philippines. Yeah, nice. I can't do it, but yeah. Yeah. I thought you were the one that did it. I did, but that took a lot of energy out of me. Yeah. Anyways. That's good, man. I'm glad that you had a great 10 days. I feel like I ain't seen you in years. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Yeah. Even though you guys just saw each other last week. Yeah, but I just, in between like everyone traveling at the same time and everyone's in like different time zones and feeling like a different type of time. (laughs) Yeah, it's like weird. I'm like, I don't know when we saw each other. That's why I'm thankful for the show because if it wasn't for the show. We wouldn't have a reason to come back. Yeah. Well, what? (laughs) We (laughs) <laughs> well we just wouldn't have a reason to hang out i think you don't think we would have created no, some random no. r- random thing no i don't think we would we you guys would've... made an album together just to hang out more yeah for sure but imagine after that we didn't we wouldn't <laughs> have an excuse to see each other every single week yeah we talk about this all the time but we wouldn't yeah that's just the truth we're now, not seeing each other on a random wednesday at 2 p.m every every wednesday and now we have a run club to run <laughs> and hang out Jay does not like that. He's like, I can, only time I can hang out with y'all is I gotta run. That sounds pretty. You can't do no trips without running. That's why he went to the Philippines because he knew we were gonna run in California. Yeah. He's like, I'm yeah. not. Uh, I'm not this, is this. Yeah. this is my Let escape. Let me plan, travel right? 15 hours to the future yeah. so I can not yeah. run. <laughs> nah, that's the length that. you'll go. Bro. That's the length Ayo. you'll go. Yeah, that's. I mean, I feel it because we were talking about Ayo. seven miles. Yeah. Well, he could have just hung out on the beach with the Karate Kids. No, again, if I had gone with you guys, we, me and Germ definitely would have been surfing it up. Nah, Germ was out run, there running, running. Yeah, he, it up. Running, he had bro. no no one else to hang out with. What you mean? He was hanging out with us. I know, but if y'all were doing your little, I don't want to say that. If you guys were running your seven miles, <laughs> he ran with us. I know, but had I been there, we would have been surfing. Nah, he would have st- because he's training. Nah, I think I think he's if, following the program. I think if 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 you came. They would have been running, and me and you would have been eating something. Really? Yeah. You weren't he trying probably, to run? I'm just saying. I, I you probably would have felt bad. I felt bad for you, and like I would have been like, you which know is what? usually I'm, the case. J- Merz is always feeling bad for you. I for know, some but reason. I don't want you to hang out with me because you feel bad. Right, but that's just the kuya cool, nature. He's like, I yeah. got to make sure Jay is good. At all I get times. the pity hangout. Yeah, 
Well, you don't want to run, so like you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to make sure you're you're taken care of. Yeah, I'll you let you guys take- know this. I'm so happy if I'm just chilling by myself as well. Yeah, sure. Well, we don't doubt that. Yeah. So if you guys run and I don't want to run, I'll be just as happy. You know what? You know what was 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 uh, we d- we did have a bed to ourselves, all of us. Yeah, it was nice. And 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 I didn't have to hear anybody snoring. I just had to hear Merz grinding his teeth. Yeah. Can you Damn. can you do that real quick? On the I don't even know how how to do it. Ah, I can't even do it, bro. Ah. It's anyways. You need a you need a you need a mouth guard. I, I'm not trying to look like Steph Curry going to sleep, bro. Nobody's gonna see you. It don't matter. Like I don't even know how to breathe like that. What do you mean? You just breathe regularly. Dude, I've tried it before. You got it. You need. Uh, you're gonna grind your teeth down. Yeah. It's not good for you. I don't. You want to use our parents' dentures to to stop grinding? No, you just don't. You when, you're, you're, when your teeth are gone, because you no, grind in them all. I, I wonder what what is the the downfall of that though? Like grinding, you're grinding teeth. Your teeth. Yeah. I think it leads to a lot of things, uh, like jaw issues. Oh yeah. Headaches. You locked, migraines. You they do? said that you do it because you're stressing. And are you stressed? Nah. Your teeth say otherwise, brother. Has your doctor said anything about sleep apnea? No, but my dentist did say that, yo, you grind your teeth, huh? And I was like, yeah, was like, I could tell. Yeah, I could tell. So sign up for the next five cleanings. Because my, t- my teeth are jagged back here. It, they sit a little Can't say that yeah. anymore. They're, yeah, they're chompers. They're uh, jagged edge. Yeah, they're. Oh, they're too closely affiliated? If we're trying to keep that same energy, bro. Really? Nah, Let's we'll hold, hold up. Married. I'm just saying. Look. Diddy's doing his crimes, but we 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 also got to see what else is. Imagine he's not guilty. Imagine, just imagine. That'd be crazy. Look, It'd be I, crazy. I feel it, right? If there's a lot of heat on you, they raided three of your houses, and you you feel like, dang, I could only leave the country until this settles down. I'm not even guilty. I'm just, and I'm not running away. I'm just scared. I'm not even guilty. That's crazy. Well, you know what's crazy is like, they can't extradite him. But they could freeze his accounts. Oh, yeah. What country are you guys fleeing to? Ooh. Let me see. What countries are... Don't extradite. And let's say we we don't have... We only have... Um, we don't have access to, like, savings. Just, like... what? Kind of, yeah. Like, you have some money, but you don't have, like, uh, a lot of money. I really don't know. I don't know. Okay, so if it's any country that... Let's just say any country in the world that doesn't um, and they don't extradite I would choose I probably would choose Japan and what's extradite that's like sending you back yeah oh like they can call the local authorities where you're at and then they can arrest you oh and send you back I would choose Japan okay that's a good answer Steve I just like it there I mean just follow this one page yeah that has that shows like all these homes in Japan that are like Forty-eight thousand dollars. Damn. Just like, wow. Oh, we should just buy this house. Pick one up. Yeah. Pick one up. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for hanging out, everybody. We appreciate it. Quick Kev and Quick Carlo. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even shout yeah, you guys, you guys out. last time. My fault. Thanks for the top tier patrons. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next week. Peace, Bye-bye. man. Peace. Peace.